Hey, welcome to Joe for Jeff. I'm Jeff. And today I wanted to talk about this new movie. It just came out uh, October 9th on Video On Demand. Uh, I haven't hit Blu-ray or anything like that yet. It's called The Final Girls. Now, don't confuse it with an earlier release called Final Girl. Uh, this one is a kind of a homage to slasher movies of the early 80s. It's a comedy, and it's rated PG-13. The uh, story's pretty simple. It's about a girl. Uh, her mother was a 80s scream queen actress. She was in a movie called Camp Bloodbath. And she was an actress. She couldn't get out of the role. Um, like 20 years later, she was still tr struggling to get out of it. She has a car accident and she dies, and her daughter moves on. Uh, three years later, they're going to have a horror film fest at a local theater, and her friend talks her into going to see her mom on the silver screen. She doesn't want to, but she gets talked into it. So it's a group of five friends and her. Uh, they get to the movie theater. They're watching the movie. She's uncomfortable. Somebody brings in a bottle of alcohol and a cigarette, and the theater starts on fire. Now her and her friends try to escape by cutting a hole in the screen to get to the other side. When they do that, they end up in the movie, Camp Bloodbath. And that's where really the comedy starts. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but I do want to tell you, it's one of my new favorite movies. I had a blast watching this. It's obvious they're, they're taking off on Friday the 13th. Uh, the killer, I believe, is called Billy. He's got a hand-carved mask. He was burned as a child. Blah, blah, blah. They do everything right in this movie. They don't take it too seriously. The gore, if there is any, is, is a little over the top, so you know it's gore. Um, <laughs> they do great work with the flashbacks and how the movie reality isn't really their reality. Like when they're in slow motion, they acknowledge they're in slow motion. Um, flashbacks are kind of like dripping black and white from the ceiling. It's a great cast. Adam Levine is in it from uh, he's in Workaholics, Pitch Perfect. He's funny. Ma Malin Ackerman is in it. She's a little old to be in it, quite honestly, but she's funny in it too. Um, it has a really great ending too that I don't want to spoil. I know I normally spoil the endings, but this time, nah. Um, a lot of fun. No nudity. Like I said, it's PG-13. You'll get a swear word here and there. But uh, it's not a horror movie. Don't approach it like a horror movie. It's a comedy. It's really funny. Uh, one of my favorite scenes is they decide they're going to kill the bad guy. Now, the final girl from the movie has already died in, the, in their movie. So they have to figure out a way to stop the killer. So this guy, he develops this like Scooby-Doo style catch a prank where they set up traps and of course they all fail and then it gets to the ending and the ending is actually really the best part you can tell they know a lot about slasher movies um, if I had any complaint about this movie is that the timeline is a little off now it's supposed to be 20 years plus another three for the movie which would place it 1992 and uh, I don't remember a lot of camp slasher movies in 1992. They probably did that just so the cast could age well. Um, I mean, if you were uh, born in the 90s, you'd be like 25, so you would really wouldn't be in high school. It's such a little point. It's such a great movie. I had such a blast. I've been waiting for this movie for the longest time. Uh, if you ever go to upcominghorrormovies.com, they've had this listed for, I want to say, over a year and a half. And... They had the premise up, but they never had any details on it. And then, like, three or four months ago, it wrapped, it was playing festivals, and it finally came out. It was well worth the wait. I had a great time. I loved the movie. Really funny. I know slasher movie comedies are terrible. Class Reunion, Student Bodies, Pandemonium. Uh, even Crinoline Head, that I talked about couple of weeks ago. That was supposed to be a comedy. Not very funny. This was funny. Go watch it. Uh, I'm going to wait for the Blu-ray, then I'm going to pick up the Blu-ray. But if you get a chance to watch it on video on demand, it's well worth it. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any comments, leave them below.